There we go. Back. Everything looks okay. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, my computer crashed for a moment and I had to nagle it and try to figure out what was going on with it. I think I know what happened to it, but we'll cautiously go forward and see. <laughs> hey, hey, Mars, how you doing, man? Where was I? Oh, yeah, dying to Keelik. just tried to tell me I've had enough streaming for today, but, uh, fix the problem and I'm back. Or never mind, let's blame Shads. I mean, I didn't. I figured because I was uh, wanted to come back that I would try to look a little bit more professional. I wanted to have like my chat box and my face cam and everything separated properly. So I looked up on stream elements and found this overlay, and I liked the way it looked. I customized it just like a tiny bit. I think it works pretty well. The sad part is that because this is all on a new computer, a newer computer, I don't have, uh, I don't have my medieval cats anymore. <laughs> oh. No, got him. Excellent. Even in this battle to fight. Yeah, 
Yeah, like the uh, stream bot is saying. I've put a command in the uh, stream, uh, in the channel point thing that if you want to force me to play as a character, you can spend some channel points to do so. Their costumes. Uh, each character seems to only have two variations. If there are other costumes, I haven't unlocked them yet. Oh, yeah, you know what? I should have seen that as an unblockable. Dude, I almost had this on, like, my second try. <laughs> You didn't actually play six? Neither did I. Which, uh, well, mostly because it was like for PS5 and stuff like that, and at that point I still didn't have a PS5. But I did see... Uh, I kind of... I'm sad I missed out on it, because there were so many... Like, the character creator in that game was insane. That's Street Fighter. Street Fighter also has a uh, wild. Wait, no, maybe Soul Calibur 6 was actually for PS4 as well. Okay, then I have no reason for not getting it. I just didn't get it. But I, yeah, I missed out on Soul Calibur 6, and I'm sad because, like, the fucking character customization in that game was wild. People were making some insane things. Especially if you were on PC, and all those mods. People were making fucking Doug Dimidome from fucking Fairly Odd Parents. It's amazing. For people to make a Shrek character in Street Fighter? Uh, probably not long. What I've seen, like... Full Calibur 6's character creator was very good at letting you kind of do whatever you wanted. And make very good reasonable facsimiles of characters. Or make very cursed versions of them. If you so chose. How? Could you break my grab when you were in the middle of an attack? Ah, uh, fuck you, Keelik. Uh, Street Fighter VI of character creator is probably- is apparently mostly good for just making god-awful abominations and monstrosities. That you would be afraid to see in a dark alleyway. As I've heard people affectionately refer to it as, like, what was it? Freak Fighter 6? Did a John Cena, you can't see me as you crab? Oh, did I? Wasn't paying attention. And god damn. reminds me of when I was playing Sifu. I could never predict the way, uh, where the strikes were coming from in that game either. Oh, Jesus! Wombo comboed into the fucking water, man. Stream The Simpsons Wrestling. I would have to own that game first. So, honestly, uh, 
with the kind of games I buy sometimes, uh, I probably would own that game at some point. <laughs> Wake up, Super. Oh, I missed. Damn. It's a, it's very, it's a very me game. <laughs> Obtained a new title. I've got style. <laughs> Somehow Keelik isn't making me feel like that's the truth, though. Nope, nope, please, no! He did one more hit. He did one more, just one more. And I go. No. Oh, I didn't get off the whole attack. Ah, I was going for a grab. from breaking my grab. You didn't see it, but he gave me a fucking supersonic purple nurple in the middle of there. Twisted my nipples right fucking off. I'm having fun uh, trying to do this challenge with an audience. Or, <laughs> but uh, what's important though is, are you guys having a good time? <laughs> Last thing I want to do is play something uh, is bore you guys to tears with what's going on on the screen. Step. No, please, please, no! It's so close. Ring out. Fun game, Ezio versus Atem from Yu-Gi-Oh, right? No, it's Ezio versus another character from one of the early, earlier Soul Calibers. His name is Keelik. Uh, he was like a crazy staff user, and you can play as his. Uh, pupil in this game but he is also in it as an unlockable character if you can beat him in like legendary souls mode which is a mode there every everybody's way tougher
Seems to know his staff. Yes, he's. You he might say he's a master of the pull. <laughs> what you might consider like a pro level fighting gamer or anything like that. I do enjoy fighting games and I'm at the very least fairly competent in what I do. But uh yeah I usually get my ass kicked with stuff like this. You guys are having fun with this. I might, like, uh, do something similar like this in the future. Take on, like, a fighting game at its highest difficulty and see if I can actually beat it. <laughs> I appreciate the belief. You weren't meant to win. Impulsible. Oh, hey man, how's it going? Pretty good? I'm doing pretty good. How's your day going? <laughs> well, yeah. But, uh... Kind of how it is for this. Let's, uh, play as Alpha Patroclus. Alpha Patroclus. What time? <laughs> the path to truth is now and filled with darkness. <laughs> I've made a vow to better myself. Sure, I will definitely Sorry, do better now that you're you here. No I didn't rage quit, my computer fucking crashed, man. Actually, I don't get frustrated with things like this when I have an audience. Because I can kind of distract myself with what's going on. And my mind doesn't have time to get frustrated. What was that move? I've never seen him do that before. He's just like... Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Literally waving his pole all around. In public. He, like, you can't just do that in front of, in, yeah, in front of everybody. <laughs> There's laws against that sort of thing. I'll carve. Gets kicked in the face five times. My own fate! Stand up and show your strength. Damn it, Mars. Battle three. Fight. The windshield wiper? Yeah, right? Many years of practice it took for him to uh, master that move. Dude, I wasn't ever any good with the fuck. I don't even know what I'm doing. I was never any good with the Alpha Patroclos in the story mode. Oh, that fucking crab does like no damage. Gotcha. Oh, he's 
like stay down. Even when severely Ready, pull. <laughs> Ready? I'll carve. Yes. My own fate. Ready? God damn it. Ring <laughs> You move quite well. Also, we'll learn near the edge of the stage and just grab and throw out. Uh, let me see if I can do a grab that goes behind me. I mean, I can, but I'm not sure that'll put him in the water. Plus, this computer is very smart. the way he's trying to get away from the uh being lined up with the back seen you play against the keelik for an hour 30 yeah i'm trying to unlock it <laughs> That's why i was actually asking if you guys were having fun with this too I know some people like to watch uh, streams where someone just tries to take on a challenge for like most of the entirety of the time, trying to succeed at it. Okay, that's all I that's what I wanted to know. Victory. To know victory, you must train your mind. <laughs> rematch. Ready? My apologies. Could this be? About to try to go for a cheese strat I used on the <laughs> boss in the story mode. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's pretty apt. Like the fucking Bat News Bears of uh, full caliber streamers. <laughs> I lose a lot, but I've got heart. <laughs> I'm scrappy. <laughs> Patroclus, you really shouldn't keep saying it. It just makes you seem silly. He took your shirt. Rocky would suck without the stare scene in the submarine. It's fate. You weren't meant to win. What kind of Rocky movie would that be? He just goes in and fucking beats everyone down and he's like, oh, well, I guess I don't really have to practice to train at all. I'm already the best. I briefly considered playing as the boss of this. You know what? No. Let's play as the boss of this game. plays the boss of this game and still gets stomped by fucking Keelik. If Steven Seagal played Rocky, that would be like that. To truth is now Nobody beats me in the thing. Or the kitchen. In me, place all of your trust. Sorry, but you are no match for me. <laughs> Even Seagal would be in this. <laughs> oh, damn it! How's this? 
Ooh, okay. Demons. <laughs> Let's see what you did there, Crow. <laughs> I got some neat moves. Yeah, see, it has to be like a move that forcibly pushes them out of the ring. A grab won't do it. Otherwise, that one would have. Oh, wait, I just realized. Oh, she's. Oh, she's one of those characters. Who would be killing by now, Jesus? So she was one of those characters that uh, changes who she mimics every uh, round. Well, we can't do that. Ready for a haircut appointment? Oh, I'm back, so I don't miss it. <laughs> you want me to sandbag up for on purpose, Mars, until you get back? I mean, sadly, I couldn't do that even if I wanted to. No Talim. Talim is missing from this game. Nightmare. <laughs> you don't have to worry, Mars. I'm trying my hardest and still getting my ass fucking slammed, so... Yeah, have a good day, Mars. You are no match for me. Battle one. Fight. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, yeah, there we go. Where are my cats? I can't hit. I think at most, I have like, because I have to like re-photoshop, well I have to now like actually photoshop out the cats properly so that they don't take up as much space, and I've only done that to like two of them. <laughs> A robot PNG tumor. tumor. I actually wouldn't mind that. I was even thinking about uh, looking into getting some uh, some new emotes, more emotes based around. I don't want to lose. Like, I don't lose Bubble Guy or uh, Bubble Dragon. A little derpy bur bubble dragon or the like uncanny Kiryu smile but I want a host uh, I'm thinking of looking into getting a new host of emotes based around the one little square robot holding a heart that I made myself the cats had their day <laughs> Uh, this is sort of a fresh start for me. It's, I could look into, like, uh, getting the cats back. We have plenty of empty space underneath the, the window now. No! No! We need to put the cats down. We found them a better home. <laughs> Special. They were horrible. That was the best part about them, though, bro. Is they were so fucking cursed. They were so cursed. I loved them. Oh, 
How did I discover them? Uh. <laughs> Honestly, it was because a, uh. Another streamer that I saw once, like, discovered them on stream. He didn't do anything with them, though, but, like, I was like, that's amazing. Oh, hey, hippie! Welcome in! This is your first time here. Have I ever seen medieval manuscripts? I have not. <laughs> Getting my ass handed to me by a a super powered CPU in Soul Calibur 5. Shit be wild. <laughs> oh, you're at work? Okay. Well, thanks for stopping by, Hippie. I appreciate it. Wake up counter. Oh, it didn't work. Might actually have a chance with Nightmare because his super is a fucking uh, counter. Oh, he was too far out of range. Oh, he also has the drop kick. I wasn't even trying to do a real. Uh, Victory belongs. I'd probably be a square rectangle robot. You weren't meant to win. Battle one. Okay. I think I actually can probably do this with nightmare. Resist the temptation to do a drop kick, which I didn't even know he could do. Am I watching Fallout? No, I haven't seen the new Fallout show, but I've actually heard really good things about it, strangely enough. Like, video games are getting good adaptations these days. That's fucking wild. Their choices are a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> See that thing I absolutely totally did on purpose? No perfect for you, Key. Like, fuck you! Like, Kevin Hart's hilarious, but, uh, I don't know about him being Roland. <laughs> what the fuck? He spun me in place! Oh man. Nope. He just, like, skimmed the footnotes.
Well, I mean, that's still better than they did for the old, like, 1990s Street Fighter movie. I'm pretty sure they only knew the names of the characters and they just kind of fucking made up everything else about it. Oh, he was trying to faint me out with that one. Villain. Rotten in darkness. Damn it. Bring out. This rock the is a prison. Surrounded by darkness. They didn't do it with Resident Evil. Yeah, I heard about that. I mean, it's not like everything that's getting made is like as an ad a video game adaptation is good. I've heard the Halo show isn't very good either. Like, and the showrunners for that have gone on record saying that they haven't played the game and that they basically want to make their own story in the Halo universe. The problem is, is that they're using like, the main character from the Halo universe for it. It's not like everything's getting better, but the fact that things exist... <laughs> no! ...is what's actually making me hopeful. Resident Evil movies are so dumb, they're amazing. <laughs> so you're getting beyond that, are you? <laughs> so, I unironically enjoy the first uh, Mila Jovovich, like, Resident Evil movie. I unironically think that it is actually a good movie. I like the... The unique characters, a similar story that goes kind of a different direction, does its own thing, has neat action, neat plot twists, doesn't really mess with the source material much. Everything after that is just, just like, a scaling uphill, or... Just a slowly sliding downhill, like, rock slide of garbage, basically. <laughs> like, Paul W.S. Anderson is a guy who likes putting his wife as the main character in movies, and there's nothing wrong with that. Dude's actually made some, like, killer movies in the past. He was the guy who made Fifth Element. It's a great movie, also starring Mila Jovovich. God, those Resident Evil movies. Oh. If you weren't a Resident Evil fan, they were bad because it just felt like, uh... They put, like, so little effort into them. And if you were a Resident Evil fan, they were bad because they took characters you actually liked from the games and 
did them dirty. Did every single one of them dirty. In, uh... In order to try to make Mila Jovovich's character look better. Mortal Kombat. Dude, the 1990s Mortal Kombat movie is better than it has any right to ever be. <laughs> it is a PG-13 movie based on a game series known for blood, gore, and like fucking fatalities and shit. But ironically, the movie was carried by the strength of the fucking actors who were in that movie. They loved being in that movie, and they, uh, they did such a great job. The guy who did Johnny Cage was amazing. I love Christopher Lambert as fucking Raiden. He's probably my favorite part of that movie. Tomb Raider? I saw both of the old Tomb Raider movies in, uh, theaters when I was a kid. For liking them. I thought Angelina Jolie did all right. That's the thing, though, is because, like, video game movies have always had this stigma, rightfully so, of just being absolute trash. It was special when one of them was actually just kind of okay. And that's sort of what the Tomb Raider movies were. They were okay. I think Daniel Craig was in them? I can't remember, but you might be right. Was he, like, uh, the opposing Tomb Raider guy in, uh, in Cradle of Life? Is that who Daniel Craig played? thought I remembered that. I just sock him in the face. Not good. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> he was Nathan Drake. Well, he was kind of playing a Nathan Drake esque character. <laughs> no, 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 he's already catching on. Never mind. These strats don't work on Keelik. Or do they? Stand up so I can punch you again, damn it. The last of us show is meant to be good. I heard that too, actually. Damn it. I didn't see the Uncharted movie either. I just know they got Tom Holland to play Nathan Drake. Like, this man who perpetually looks like an eight year old boy and cannot grow like a five o'clock shadow to save his life. I like Tom Holland. Uh, he was great in the newer Spider-Man movies. Just if you were gonna get someone to play a rugged, rugged, roguish adventurer type like Nathan Drake, uh, don't pick someone who looks like a child. What? 
Wait, that should have broken, because I was grabbing too. Oh, what? Nathan Fillion already played him in a fan film. Actually, Nathan Fillion would have been a great choice for Nathan Drake. But alas, that guy, aside from Firefly, can never land leading roles. He looks exactly like him. I know! <laughs> He had Castle? Oh, was he the, uh, the lead of Castle as well? Nice. Top tip. This game is. <laughs> I quite like the uh, the first Last of Us game. I may have my own feelings about uh, the way the actor and like the the voice, some of the voice actors and like the producer view it, like. Uh, Neil Druckmann thinks that The Last of Us is like an unbeatable work of art. And, uh. Troy Baker thinks he's some kind of, like, gift from God to voice actors. But aside from that, it doesn't ruin my enjoyment of that game. Thanks. Troy Baker is a good voice actor. I don't think he's like the heaven sent end of all things as far as voice acting is concerned, like he seems to think he is. But he does have a really good, like, everyman voice, and he's done a lot of good roles. The Last of Us 2 is better. I haven't played that one. But I do know that that's a, uh, a kind of divisive statement that you're making. <laughs> there, Cole. Oh, I'm dead. The thing with The Last of Us is the writing is great, but the gameplay is very flawed. Like, the gunplay isn't super great, but uh, the stealth stuff kind of feels a lot like uh, you're playing Batman, just you're like one of the criminals instead of actually being Batman, so you've got like nothing to defend yourself most of the time, other than a gun or a knife. The game is boring. I mean, well, that's your opinion, Cole. You're welcome to it. Troy Baker's Joker is good. I thought Xander Mobus did, uh... Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. I see what... No, I know what you're talking about. This is, uh, the Arkham Origins Joker. Right, 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 right. We talked about this a long time ago, back when I played, uh, Arkham Origins. He actually did do a really good stand-in for Mark Hamill. If Mark Hamill... Uh, doesn't want to do Joker again because it hurts his voice, then Troy Baker is a pretty good, uh, a pretty good one to step in for him. I fucking miss? Oh my god, that's what happens if they don't counter and they actually stand still in it? Hit me. Thank you. Mark retired after Kevin died? Oh yeah, I heard about that. He's like, you know, 
Kevin can't be there anymore. I don't want to be a part of it. I respect that. I got mad respect for Mark Hamill. I love the shit out of him for the characters he's played over the years. They were bros? Hell yeah, man. Like, I think... It's pretty much almost entirely the same crew throughout, uh, pretty much starting from Batman the Animated Series all the way to the end of, uh, Justice League Unlimited. As far as showrunners and a lot of the same voice actors and stuff. My grab. As I panic hop and actually manage to get over a couple of sweeps. <laughs> get off the rack. No! I think Harley Quinn had died. But the actress for it? The voice actress for it? That's unfortunate. Oh, you mean the voice actress for the original Harley Quinn in that show? Because I know in the Arkham games they had, um, what was her name? Tara Strong, I think? Oh, that's unfortunate. Jesus, I'm sorry, Keelik, I just wanted to win one round! I don't know, hmm, I really don't know either way, but I do know that Tara Strong was the voice of Harley Quinn in the, uh, in the Arkham games. Come on, get my apologies. Ready? Get off the boat. Get off the raft, Keelik. Get Get off get off the raft. You're mine. No. No 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 no. No! I'm so close, fuck! They created her in that show? Yes! Uh, Batman the Animated Series did a lot of things for the Batman mythos that continue to this day. Harley Quinn just being one of them. They also reinvented uh, Mr. Freeze into the best version of him that there's ever been. The, like, old, poetic fucking... Uh, that he is, that just wants to save his wife. The Tim Burton films. I, mean, <laughs> I love the Tim Burton films. Do not get me wrong about that. I absolutely fucking enjoy the shit out of them. I love Michael Keaton as Batman. Jack Nicholson as the Joker. I love that Batman didn't give a fuck in those movies and he killed the fuck out of a lot of people. I'm not gaining any character points anymore. I like Tira. I like this Tira in a while. But those, like, Tim Burton didn't know, literally didn't know anything about Batman. <laughs> In fact, I think I remember he hated comic books. 
My opinion is needed. Exactly. Look at my DMs. Fight. Sure thing. Okay. What's up? Oh! That's fucking adorable. I like that. <laughs> You draw that up, friend. How's this? We turn. Show it to chat. Actually, yeah, I got time. I can do that. It's a scrunkle version, but like PNG me. Yeah, I like it. Uh, let me get it up in. It's really big. Uh... How about that chat? You guys like that? I like it. Draw that up real quick, man. Ready? Try making a solid robot. You do not have Gundam skills. <laughs> That's okay. Ready? <laughs> nice. I like it a lot. Stand battle to fight. Little static screen face and everything. Little his tiny little ball hand arms. Little nubs. Take the blame for this fight going wrong. Look, he was, he's been spanking me for, like, about the last two and a half hours. <laughs> oh, the shoulder joints. Okay. Like, I know that he's supposed to be kind of like a, uh, sort of like Marvel's Batman, but he's insane. Or at the very least, he sure doesn't mind murdering people. Super. Oh, 
what? You didn't finish the job? Wait, do you have a secondary form, Tira? I forget. Victory belongs to the last one standing. <laughs> But yeah, I like him a lot, Brim. If, uh... I don't know if you're in the business of making, like, little PNG tubers. I don't... I don't know if you made, like, your own one for your streams, the little cheapy. Uh, but if you made one like that, I'd... I'd pay you a commission for it. and stuff for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder. What if the answer was just to be Raphael and cheese the hell out of him? Let's well, terms. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Can I just, like, cheese him with Raphael? The cheesiest full caliber characters. Oh no, they actually gave him, like, kind of end lag to his little combo. Sheep Pandries you've drawn? Yeah. In some ways it feels like this could work, but in others, I don't think so. <laughs> That oh, was mostly only I wanted to see if I could, uh, if I could do it as Keelik. I think I was having an easier time with Nightmare because of his counter super, but I did get the closest with Siegfried. swing, but that's not how Siegfried does his big swing. But how do you 
change his positioning like mid wing on his move like that. That's garbage. I call bullshit on that one.
God damn it. I said I'm gonna try this five more times. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know I'm muted. Yeah, I was also saying that, like, yeah, the robot guy looks nice. He doesn't have to be a little Gundam man, but I actually kind of like it better that he's just like a little square boy. Victory to know victory. I was also saying that, uh, more or less just a test. I wanted to, well, for one, I wanted an excuse to try to unlock Keelik again on this. But also, if you guys wanted to, would be interested in, like, watching me struggle to, uh, do stuff like this or go through, like, fighting game arcade modes on the highest difficulty and stuff, which will have a lot more variety than just this. Damn, Kulik! Man, Keelik has some place to be. He wants to get this over quickly. It's fate. You weren't meant to win. I'm level 10. I think I started at level 6 when I was... I started doing this today. I'm losing steam anyway, so it might be for the best. Oh, I was blocking. Startup frames before the startup frames of my super. <laughs> a new title, Soul of Siegfried. Okay, this will be the last one. everything wait for an opening god damn it Ah, uh, one more. Victory. That last round was fucked. I kept trying to do my super, and nothing was happening.
right, that breaks through my guard. I can do eat. Without my super. You can't get thrown as I get thrown. Does Ivy still exist? Ivy does still exist. It was just like, no, he he guard impacted it. His back guard impacted my drop kick. Blocking. Ah, uh, I guess that hits low. Oh. Before I quit, be her. Yeah, I could try a little bit of Ivy. I have forgotten so much of how to play as Ivy. I don't think I've actually played as her uh, since uh, Soul Calibur 2. <laughs> what about Volo? Dude, I was never good at playing Volo. Or hold it. <laughs> uh, do you want the dominatrix outfit or the super deep V line like fur coat? <laughs> Big. Ah, uh, we'll do the V line then. <laughs> the path to truth is narrow and filled with darkness. Your punishment will be quite severe. Sorry, but you are no match for me. Battle one. Fight. Ready? <laughs> Thank you. 
shove your titties under his helmet. <laughs> if I can get a really good hit on him, I can actually break his helmet. I'm actually surprised it didn't happen any of the times that I was fighting as Siegfried or Nightmare. If you do that, he drops the whole, like, uh, Vajram, uh, Helix thing. There's some range. Quick maneuver. Okay, roll out of the way. Why do you have a kick like that, Ivy? <laughs> Oh, it's a grab! It's a grab! Oh, got him! Excellent. The battle rages on. Stand up, battle. Three. Fight. No! So close. Wait. <laughs> Apparently, hers doesn't combo like his does. No! <laughs> I was so close! What did she break? Or what did he break? <laughs> There is a chance because I have reached. 
Dude, that should have startup frames just like mine does. <laughs> The fact that her super is actually a uh, grab makes a huge difference. Gotcha. You knew what I was going for. Ah, he actually perfect me. God damn it! Victory. To know victory, you must train your mind. That's so fucking close. He doesn't think he does he? No, no, he does not. He's, <laughs> he's well aware of my bullshit by now. stick move he does has like seven different variations he's just like am i gonna slam it down on you am i gonna poke you who knows who knows One like hip rope attack. Victory. It's fate. You weren't meant to win. I've been so close like twice. Battle one. Fight. He shatters the jewelry that she had on her chest, yeah. have a good move for uh, picking people off of the boat. Or at least I haven't found it yet. Gotcha. Oh, no. You were in the air, so it didn't work. One more try as uh, Ivy, then I'll do a couple of tries as Voldo, and then that'll truly be the end. Fight. No, he's just done with me. I 
have wasted my super on that. Damn. And we tried Voldo a couple of times, and if that truly can't work, then it's done. <laughs> then I'll probably keep trying on my own time here and there. Oh wait! I actually unlocked him! Just through sheer point gain. Well, I mean, at least we achieved something. <laughs> God damn it. I've wanted to actually beat him. I'm still gonna try. <laughs> I got what I came here for, but I don't feel accomplished the way I got it. I've never known how to play Voldo, but I sure as hell fear anybody who actually does. I do it on purpose. <laughs> long before I got to him and I still went for the grab anyways. Kidding me? <laughs> I'm a wheel. Uh -oh. oh, but it puts me in cr uh, backwards crab position if I even if I whip it. For real this time. No take backsies, yeah.
You broke my pants, Keelik. You broke my pants! <laughs> I wish I knew how I was doing any of that. <laughs> Because it's fucking worky. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I have basically resorted to just mashing this bolo. Bolo. He really is. He just hit buttons and he's like, look, I'm laying down. Look, I'm uh, fucking crab walking. The other person's like, how are you doing this? Like, how did I do that? How did I fucking do that? Hit him with this? No! Oh, 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 yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Victory belongs to the last one standing. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I can't believe it was with fucking Volo of all people! Oh! Get smashed by nightmare real quick. Storm out of the castle and reveal its true. Mm. There we go. Good way to end the stream. Now I feel fucking accomplished. See how much of an actual fucking win streak we can make this. Oh, never mind. Nightmare had other plans. I guess he alone has a grab that actually catapults you off of the fucking stage. Say what? I'm sorry. Did you have a fucking explosive wave on me? Oh, yes. Okay. There we go. Taken down by nightmare. I am okay with this. <laughs> the real the part i really hate though is that i think the other guy is also in legendary souls mode but we can also unlock him by just getting enough points i don't know i'm satisfied i'm glad i actually in there and did that. <laughs> I did the thing. I did indeed. Holy shit. That was fucking wild. Yeah, with Voldo somehow. A character that I have no idea how to actually play. 
properly at all. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. I think all the rest of my uh, European peeps uh, went to bed, so. All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it Bolo's distant cousin. God fucking gravity. <laughs> you related to this thing, Bolo? <laughs> Some, uh, some ridiculous inbreeding going on in your family tree. <laughs> Where he learned about the eye thing. You know what? Bull Buldo does seem like the type to probably uh, try to perform eye surgery with an ice pick as well. Oh, holy crap. Yeah. Thank you for uh, getting me to stick in the stick it out just a little bit longer. Keep trying. <laughs> I did not think it would happen with Voldo. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> it's like Caleb didn't even know what to do about it. <laughs> it's just like, what are you doing? Why can't I hit you? Ah, <laughs> uh, holy crap. Okay. Um, well, we just got some one. Huh. Welcome in, new viewers. Uh, the stream's basically over, but I can probably drop you off at somebody else's. hang out with Heavy Metal Queen. She is uh, somebody who uh, I know through Ella Ren, who plays D&D with me, but also does a lot of um, Hunt Showdown. And uh, I think Heavy Metal Queen plays with her. Um, she seems like a nice person. She's playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe right now, so I'm gonna drop you guys off there and then stop streaming. Ah, oh, thanks for thanks for uh, sticking it through <laughs> for that. I appreciate everyone's support. Thanks for hanging out. All right, see ya. Bye. <laughs>